Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Coach Craig's Sports. Today is Wednesday, July 6th, and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video, we'll be doing a recap of yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out. Talking about my core plays for today, it is an eight-game main slate overall, and then going over to my article over at webetats.com and talking about my top GPP stacks for the FanDuel main slate today as well. But without further ado, we'll get started with the recap of yesterday's picks. We're going to start off first at the pitcher position. We have Melko Kopich at... $8,300. Got to 11 points yesterday. It was just not that good overall. And pretty much every pitcher that was popular yesterday was not very good. So no matter what you did, pitcher was not too pretty yesterday. Jose Quintana actually ended up being the top one with 39 points overall, which when we think about most pitcher slates, we're usually happy if we get 39 points or more. And that was the best there was yesterday. And then at first base, we had Nate Lowe at $2,900. Got to 37.9 points, so he was a major, major hit. He was the top overall first baseman on yesterday's slate. And then we had second base, we had Jose Altuve at $4,100. and got to six points, so he was a push. Obviously expecting a little bit more out of him out of his price tag. Then at third base, we had Jace Peterson at $2,600. Got to 18.2 points, so he was a solid hit overall yesterday. And then last but not least, we had Cedric Mullins at $3,400. Got to 37.9 points. He was a hit in the third overall outfielder on the slate and either like the third or fourth hitter on the slate overall yesterday as well. So him and Nate Lowe, very, very good yesterday. Jace Pearson was good as well. Pitching was just kind of unfortunate yesterday. There was not that many good pitchers as I did mention. Unfortunately, Michael Kopich was at the lower end of those guys that did end up busting from the pitcher perspective. But with that being said, if you went with these five guys and you had a couple other decent plays, you still had a very good chance of cashing yesterday. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to the court plays for today. So we're going to start off at the pitcher position. I got Aaron Nola, $10,500, averaging just under 39 fantasy points per game on the season. Yes, he's an expensive pitcher. There's some decent pitchers at the top on this slate. So you can look at him. You can look at Max Fried. You can look at Tony Goslin. You can look at Christian Javier, who's pitching very well and pitching against Kansas City today. All four of those guys are definitely in play. So if you want to pay up for Aaron Nola, you could definitely do that. Or if you want to save a little bit of money, you can go down to one of those three as well. Then we go down to first baseman Freddie Freeman, $4,200, averaging about 12 fantasy points per game on the season, goes against the Colorado Rockies. Jose Urena is making his season debut today. Jose Urena, what you need to know about him as a pitcher, 5.44 ERE in his career. And his area was over seven in AAA, so it's not like he's been pitching well in the minors either. He actually had a start down in AAA where he gave up 10 runs on 12 hits. So uh, I definitely have a lot of interest in this Dodgers team once again today. Freddie Freeman at the top of the list since he is 13 for 31 with four home runs versus Jose Urena in his career. And then we move down to third base with Josh Rojas, $2,700. Still a very reasonable price tag for him at this point in time, averaging over nine fantasy points per game on the season. Kind of sat out yesterday, didn't start. He ended up with a hit in that game anyway. He's been hitting the ball pretty well as of late. He's only over two versus Alex Cobb in his career, but a very, very small sample size. I think it's a matchup that he could take advantage of once again today, though. And then we move down into the outfield with Cody Bellinger, $2,600, averaging about nine fantasy points per game on the season. It's really been hit or miss with him as of late. Kind of home run or bust is what you're looking for in DFS. So if you don't want to risk him, maybe you play a different cheap option. But if you want that home run upside, I don't think there's many cheap guys with that much home run upside as Cody Bellinger on today's slate overall. Going against Jose Urena of the Rockies, like we already talked about, not a very good pitcher. He's two for two with a home run versus him in his career. So definitely. Definitely the type of pitcher that he could take advantage of on today's slate. And then last but not least, we move down to J.D. Martinez at $3,300. A little bit of a price down spot for him, if we're being completely honest. Averaging just under 11 fantasy points per game on the season. Going against the Tampa Bay Rays and Corey Kluber today. He is 9 for 31 with two home runs versus Corey Kluber in his career. So definitely some pretty good upside there once again today. But with that being said, if you go with the five players that I do have listed here, you have $11,700 remaining. A little bit less than I typically like to give. I typically don't like to leave you guys with less than $12,000, but at this point in time, you know, about $2,900 to spend. So looking at some decent value plays on today's slate overall. Uh, potentially, if you want to pay down a pitcher and save a little bit of money there, you could pay up at other positions as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my article over at webetats.com and talk about my top GPP stacks for today. So with that being said, this top stacks that I do have for today, Dodgers, no surprise here, as we've already talked about Jose Arena not being a very good pitcher, 5.44 ERA in his career, over 7 ERA in AAA so far this season. As I mentioned, he had a start down there where he even gave up 10 runs. So definitely have a lot of interest in this Dodgers team today. Then we had the Houston Astros going against Brad Keller of the Kansas City Royals. 
not a lot of history there for many of these guys, but the history that is there is pretty good. Plus, you also have the upside of the Astros lineup. So definitely, definitely have some interest in those Astros hitters once again today. Then we have the Texas Rangers going against Spencer Watkins of the Baltimore Orioles. Most of these guys don't have history versus him, but he's not a pitcher to be afraid of at this point in time. Doesn't really strike out a ton of bats. Gives up some decent contact. So definitely have some interest in that Rangers bat. And they're coming off a hot game yesterday as well. And then last but not least, we have the Atlanta Braves, who actually have hit Miles Mikolos pretty well throughout his career. However, Mikolos is pitching pretty well this year. So it could be a little bit of give and take there, but do have some interest in those Braves bats once again today. But with that being said, these are my core five picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, July 6th. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play on tonight's slate, whether it's someone from my core five picks, whether it's someone from my top GPP stacks, or whether it's a completely different player you guys think I missed. Definitely interested in hearing what you have to say. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing definitely would appreciate it helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at coach craig sports which is one that's truly for you the viewers helping you with your dfs primarily mlb dfs at this point in time since that's the major sport going on right now but once we get back around to the nfl and nba regular seasons i'll be covering those two sports as well and then with that being said, if you are new or current subscribers yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily MLB DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.